Today I have a prompt I want to show you that blows me away every single time I use it. And I think it's going to blow you away too. Imagine this. Imagine you have a prompt that is the ultimate storyteller, ultimate book writer and creator and chapter developer all in one single prompt. Also the ultimate illustrator and image generator. This prompt will create stories for you. Write books, write chapters, descriptions and paragraphs. Create a story with images in minutes. And you can do all this all within the same chat. And to make it even better, for every image it generates, it will also provide the actual prompt it used. That way, you can copy and paste these prompts and actually try them and generate them in your favorite apps like Leonardo AI or Midjourney. I'll show you a few examples right now, but stick around because this prompt just might write your next book. So kudos to the actual creator of this prompt. Chain Brain AI. Okay, so first, before we get started, let me first show you some really cool images that this actually generated for me. So I have a lot of these new images in this mega Airtable database right here, but I have everything broken up by category, segments, and tabs. And then on the left-hand side, I have all different views. For hundreds of prompts, click the links in the description. Let me go to gallery view right here, and then just take a look at some of these newer ones I just made. Warning, it's a little bit scary, but look at this realistic image it made. This is gonna be like a... <laughs> sci-fi futuristic dystopian type and then again i also have one right here and then one more of like this majestic wolf that comes to life you're gonna get a variation of different cool looking images so every image that this generates is based off of the actual chapter and what the chapter is entitled you can also get access to all this with a few links in my description okay so now let's get right into the prompt i'll give you a quick overview right here but first just to let you know i'll also paste this prompt in to this page on my blog post and place it right here underneath the heading feature YouTube. Let's go back over here to ChatGPT. Here's what I pasted in the first time I used it. At first, I didn't give ChatGPT a subject. I wanted to see what it could come up with completely on its own. And I still have story. I still have chapter number, chapter title, chapter narrative. Everything is still completely blank. So here's what I did. Now, ChatGPT will respond. Hi, I'm thrilled to embark on this journey. What's pretty cool about this is that right away, if I have complete writer's block and I don't know what to use, let's let ChatGPT do all the work. So so it goes ahead and then it tells me, here are three options, the lost city of Zephyr, whispers of the willow tree, or galactic odyssey of Nova and Orion. I just typed in simply down here at the bottom, I just typed in one thing, one. And then from there, automatically ChatGPT starts the process. Great choice, the lost city of Zephyr. And after every chapter, it's gonna provide me with an image. Now keep this in mind, this image might not look that good, but that's okay. As you can see, it's using pollinations.ai. That's what's generating these images. And so if you don't like these, no problem at all. What you'll do is then take each image and then ask Dali, Leonardo AI, or Midjourney. However, let's move on to another example and then try this in real time. So go ahead and paste the whole entire prompt in right here. Okay, so here are the three examples. Let's go ahead and then just do this. Just simply type in the number one it's gonna know exactly what you mean. And then just like that, the first thing it does is create an image. So just by simply adding Dali, now it's gonna see that command and it's automatically starting to create an image. And then just like that, there it is. There's the image created in Dali, fantastic, simple. The Lost City of Mirrors, chapter one, the whispering map. Now that's pretty cool. And then it starts with the chapter immediately. And so based off of each chapter is how the image is generated. Okay, and now let's move on and then do this in real time. So I have a new chat opened. I pasted the whole entire process. Again, this time, I'm going to go ahead and leave it blank, okay? So here is the options that ChatGPT gave me. This, this looks pretty cool too. Let's try number three. I'm going to type in just simply the number three. And now this time with this prompt, the only thing I added differently was right here. I said, please create images using Dali. Now it's still going to create images with Pollination's AI, but check this out. The cool thing I like about this is that the very first image it will generate will be done utilizing Dali, which will basically be used as the cover of the book. Now here it is, Whispers of the Forest, and then just like that, we have our first cover of the book. As you can see, it starts the writing process, and then here it is, chapter one, the hidden path. But as you see, it's gonna continue with the creative process, writing chapter after chapter after chapter. And subsequent to each chapter, you could see once it's concluded with the chapter, it's gonna generate the image. So here it is, before chapter two, the guardian of the forest. It was created using Pollination's AI, not the best image, but that's okay. We're gonna actually make our own, but at least we're getting these prompts that we can actually use. If you want 
want this to continue, here's all you have to do. It just says to continue our story, please type next. Let's go ahead and do that. And then from there, it's going to write two more chapters. Every time you type next, the next thing chat GPT will do is actually generate a new image in Dali. Now you don't have to have this method done. I just added that extra little sentence at the end where I said, please generate images with Dali. But the important thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure you still have that pollinations URL in the prompt. You can't get any better than that. I'll zoom in. There is, I assume, our new character. This is Lily. This was generated in Dali. It's done everything the first paragraph of chapter three says. And then if we like this image again, we can download this image right here. The other cool thing about this is that if you want the actual prompt used to make this image, you can ask ChatGPT, what prompt did you use to make the image for chapter three? It's as simple as that. And we'll do that. Okay. Here's the next one. Now, moving forward, it's going to still create the next images in the chapters in Pollination's AI, but that's okay. Like I said, we're going to start and change those up. So I'm typing in down here at the bottom, what prompt was used to make the image at the beginning of chapter three? Go ahead and hit enter. The prompt used to create the image at the beginning of chapter three was Lily, a young girl with a look of determination, standing at the edge of a dark, ominous forest, preparing to embark on her quest. We could take that prompt, copy and paste it, go to Mid Journey, Leonardo AI, etc., make our own images. We can take that and copy and paste it. I'll just paste it right here. I'll put an image and then Lily in the Valley of Shadows. And that way, Dali will immediately know I want another image. Okay, and then there you have it. There's another image. I can go ahead and open this up. Perfect. I mean, it keeps everything consistent and the same. It still has the shadows and then the lights peeking through. I love this. So let's now take things a step further. Now let's do this, but now with our own custom subject and topic that we want ourselves specifically and then fill in exactly what we're wanting a young woman lost in a dystopian world cool okay so that's my story so i have my story selected but i'll have chat gpt do the rest of the work it's going to provide the chapter number i'll go ahead and let it create my own chapter titles for me so everything else looks the same the only thing different now is that i just provided the actual type of story i want once that's said and done go ahead and hit send message let's let chat gpt go to work okay the galactic odyssey of a space adventurer now now, this is a cool little trick you can use. I said, please generate images relating to each chapter using Dali. So that way I can go ahead and communicate with ChatGPT and tell it, listen, for each chapter, I want you to make a corresponding image. So it created image one. Now you can see it's in the process of creating image number two. Once that's done, I get that purple check mark. And then there we go. It wrote the first two chapters. Let's make sure. There we go. Number one, the departure. It looks like a cool image of a departure to me. Number two, the whispering asteroid. Pretty cool. Now, I can go ahead and then type in next. Now, the cool thing about that is that after I type in next, it knows exactly where I left off. So I just simply typed in next. Now, check this out. Story, the galactic odyssey of a space adventurer, chapter three, the nebula of lost echoes. So just like that, it doesn't start over at chapter one or chapter two. It just moves on to chapter three. And then again, it's going to create these images utilizing Pollination's AI, which we're not going to use. Once this is over, we're going to ask the same thing. Please create a corresponding image related to each specific chapter. And then we'll get those images created with Dali instead. Now, I really didn't dive in too much further to actually go into the fine details and replace everything in the bracket of text to make sure it really nailed down and created a story specifically based off my titles and chapters chapters, but try it for yourself and let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm